In my drawing video for The Cabinet of Dr. Caligari, I mentioned that there were only two other silent movies that had a bigger impact on me. One of those is the subject of today's video, dedicated to one of the scariest gothic thrillers ever, Nosferatu. The first thing I remember loving about this film was that the vampire was ugly as hell, and I could relate. For as long as I could remember, the most popular vampires were always sex symbols and undead supermodels made into wankable fiction by the likes of Anne Rice or Stephanie Meyer or god knows how many fanfic writers on the internet. Romantic vampires are okay, if that's your thing, but I just had a hard time relating to an outcast monster when they looked like Brad Pitt and had women everywhere fawning over them. Nosferatu was hideously, shamelessly ugly. And even though that isn't a sympathetic plot point like it would be with Quasimodo or the Frankenstein monster, it's still made me like the character a lot more, because freaks gotta stick together. But anyway, who is the character? Graf Orlok, or Count Orlok, is Dracula. And yet somehow more than just Dracula. I'm sure most of you monster kids watching this are aware of its turbulent history, of the filmmakers plagiarizing Bram Stoker's novel and the lawsuits that followed, but all that's been covered already by numerous authors and numerous books. For here and now, I'm just going to remark that, out of all the film adaptations of Dracula that I know of, Nosferatu is the one that has grown the furthest away from its source material and achieved a life of its own. So even though this vampire is uglier than a mandrill's butt, the film Nosferatu is gorgeous. I love the cinematography and all the shadows, which have become so iconic that you can instantly recognize this movie from even a handful of stills. Along with the location shooting, which was really rare in the silent era. I love the spooky forests and mountains. I love the seaside setting where the Mina character, or Ellen as she's called, sits by the ocean. And even the crumbling buildings or the scummy asylum are really nice visuals to take in. The acting in this film ranges in quality, with the Harker or Hutter character especially looking like a dumbass, but then there's Orlok himself, Max Shrek. I don't need to tell you just how creepy as hell Shrek is in the role. Just a walking cadaver with nasty rat features and that wide dead-eyed stare, ooh. As Nosferatu approaches its centennial in a few years, I'll continue to enjoy this creepy classic from the dawn of horror films. Fangs for the memories. Thank you for being part of the show. If you enjoyed this video, please visit the bookstore at scapulacomic.com. There you'll find the complete Dada Hyena's Creature Show book series, showcasing my art of all of your favorite monsters. Yeah, even that one. You'll also meet Scapula, the world's worst villain, in his wickedly hilarious comic book adventures. Help support weird art and the weird artists who make it, and we'll share great frights and fun. Enjoy! <laughs> <laughs>